15.6D, complex numbers. Multiply. I works just like variables. And remember that I squared is just negative one. So let's see our first multiplication. If it works just like variables, that means that we just multiply the numbers and then multiply the letters. So we have negative three times six is negative 18, and I times I becomes I squared. But we have to remember that I squared is negative one, so we need to make a substitution here. Instead of the I squared, we need to be writing negative one. So now we have negative 18 times negative one, which gives us a positive 18 which is our final answer. Let's look at example two. Here's example two. Just like with variables, we can distribute with an i. This means that we will get 10i minus 4i squared. But remember, i squared equals a negative one, so we must substitute that in. So now we have 10i minus four times a negative one, which gives us 10i plus four, which is our final answer. Let's look at another example. Here's example three. Just like with variables, we can FOIL. So let's do the first times the first is eight. The outer is negative 20i. The inner is negative 6i and the lasts are positive 15i squared. Once again, we can combine like terms just like we would do with any other variable. This means we have eight minus 26i. We also need to change the i squared to a negative one. This means that we have eight minus 26i minus 15 and eight minus 15 is negative seven minus 26i, which is our final answer. Let's look at our last example. Here's example four. Remember that if I have a binomial squared, you can expand it out to be three plus two i written twice. As exponents are merely repeated addition. Then you can FOIL as usual, giving you nine plus six i plus six i plus four i squared. Next, you will have nine plus twelve i plus four i squared. Remembering that i squared is actually a negative one, we have nine plus twelve i plus four times a negative one which gives us nine plus 12i minus four. And nine minus four is five plus 12i, which is our final answer. If you are good with taking your binomial and squaring it, you may remember the shortcut which gets you straight to this step. By squaring the first plus two times the product and squaring the last. You can use that with eyes as well.